All right, guys, good evening. Uh, I'm going to talk about this Strix AWK210 frame I got. Um, pretty sharp frame. I got the orange one. Uh, as you know, I was going to run the uh, F60 Pro 2200 KV motors and some Luminary ESCs. They were the Blade Hell ES. Um, the issue I had was the Lumineers didn't fit. I mean, they were huge. Great ESCs, but huge. They didn't fit. Uh, I ended up going with Cobra ESCs, 35 amp. Um, they fit a lot better, a little bit smaller. And instead of running the F60s, I ran the F40 Pro 2600 KV um, from Ready-Made RC. Uh, you can get your stuff there. Actually, everything here, except for the Brain FPV, I got from there. Uh, the Brain FPV, they sell. Um, but I ended up getting it directly from them. They hooked me up um, with it as a Fox Air HS 1177 camera. And I'll be running the uh, Cricket RX, which is not installed in here. I've got the 600 milliwatt one, uh, but I'm going to have to go down to the 200 milliwatt one because most of your race clubs say 200 milliwatt. Uh, so that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm running the Vass uh, Mad Mushroom on this part of that Blue Beam Ultra, which works really well. Um, and I'll have to show you what I'm putting the other side on. Um, as you can see, I'm doing some wiring. I got some things fitted up. Um, I rubber mounted the uh, motors. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be rubber mounting the uh, flight controller, uh, only because it won't quite fit just right. So I'm not going to do that, and that'll be fine. Um, you know, we've all flown without them being rubber mounted, and everything flies good. I think rubber mounting the motors would be good. Um, flight controller, as I said, I got the Brain FPV flight controllers. You can see I got the barometer on this. We'll see how that works. Uh, they say it works great. No reason to not believe them. Um, I looked at the specs on these uh, F40 2600 KV motors. Check them out online at uh, mini quad or yeah, mini quad testbench.com. That guy does a phenomenal job on his testing. Um, and these motors perform really well. Low amp draw, very fast, good amount of torque. They will turn my 50 50. Bull nose, gem fan, orange props, very well, uh, no issues. That's what we're gonna rock on this. Um, the F60 motors, 2200 KVs, and the uh, Luminaire ESCs. You're probably wondering what I did with them, so I'll show you. And uh, got to play around with it a little bit today. I'm not getting a real flight in because everybody knows Beta Flight was having an issue, which they're fixing. Um, did an update, and I guess some things didn't just didn't want to work out quite right. They're on this quad. Um, as you can see, a lot of changes went on here. Doesn't have the flashy 550 cord. That was orange. Um, man, these motors are tight. Nice motors. It's smooth. Man, I, those F60 Pro 2200 KVs are smooth. Uh, the 35 amps, they did fit under here, so that was great. The Lumineers. Um, it, it says it can run up the D-Shot. We're going to try that. On this quad, I am running the B-Rotor F3 flight controller. Uh, I've had it on there for like, I don't know, almost a year, I guess. And it's working great. I did rubber mount it this time. We'll see how that works. Never done that on a flight controller. Of course, the motors are rubber mounted. Um, these are the antennas. Uh, I'm running the Spectrum, an old DX8, which works great. I have no problems with it. I just fixed the gimbal. Uh, another HS1177 camera from Fox here, the black one. I got the smaller lens. I've never run that big a lens before that you saw on the other Fox here, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I can't wait to get this thing up in the air and fly it. I've got to do some upgrades. came up, of course, with a new beta flight. Um, I've got to update that and uh, change my PIDs, which I couldn't even access today. Um, but that definitely needs to be done because the PIDs were horrible, and I'm not sure if it was the motors, the ESC, or what the deal was, but... Man, it just did not want to fly super smooth. It flew good, just not super smooth. You know, th and this isn't your typical race quad you see anymore. It's a G10 frame. This is a fast quad. Um, this thing will get up and go. Same 50-50 bullnose props. And I was running 1900 KV F60s, the old ones. Uh, these are the new Pro, and it's like night and day. And these things are small, smooth. They're 2207 instead of 2206. Uh, the F40s are 2306 or 05. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but they're pretty smooth too. Uh, again, you see fast 
Blue Beam Ultra on this. Um, I was running the left hand turn Fat Shark goggles or Fat Shark antennas. Speaking of the goggles, um, these are the goggles that are being used. The Dominator HD3s. Uh, and I'll be running that with the True D V3 uh, receiver. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that receiver's junk. Well, there were some problems with it. Um, they got it fixed. Uh, basically, what was happening was the weight of the antenna was pulling one antenna group against the other and it was shorting out and it was frying out a piece in the headset or in the goggle. Uh, they got that fixed. Pretty cool little bracket, so I'm waiting for it. I'm not even going to put anything else in it. That's what I'm going to get, so I'm going to run. They're going to fix it if it breaks. We're going to see how long it lasts, and I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'm pretty excited, of course, as you all know, I run those really old goggles. I don't even know what they are anymore. They're old. <laughs> they work good. Um, I did mess around with the goggle. Of course, I couldn't hook it up to anything, but you can still see the screen. I can get numbers, you know, the menu going across there. And everybody's like, oh, the corners, the edges, they're all blurry. Yeah, they are, but not because there's, there's something screwed up with the goggle. All you got to do is, you know, if you move your eyes, you tilt your head a little bit. Hey, look, the corners aren't all that bad. The problem is the screen's so big. It's way bigger than my old goggles. I mean, way bigger than my old goggles. Um, it's not that it's distorting the edges and stretching them. It's just, they're blurry. It's like looking at something in your peripherals. It's a little blurry. That's, that's how big these goggles are. The screen in these goggles, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's got a fan on it. That was pretty cool. It took me a minute to figure that out. There's still one button on there. I have no idea what it does because they don't have any instructions. Um, even online, they don't talk about that little button, so maybe it's nothing. Um... The F40s come in this little box. The F60s come in this little box. They're about they're the exact same price. I mean, there's nothing different. Uh, motors are great though. Pretty much everything here came from ReadyMade RC. Um, got some stuff from GetFPV.com. You know, uh, guys helped me out. Got these. These are really good. Uh, five millimeter aluminum lock nuts. Uh, speaking of lock nuts, the old F60s, I don't know if anybody remembers having them, the props, when you put the prop on that motor, it didn't fit right. I mean, it, it fit on, you know, on the motor, it's just you couldn't get your nut all the way on. You do not have that problem with these motors. Um, as you can see, I got plenty sticking out there. Now, that, that, that's the same aluminum nut you see here, and they have them in different styles. Um... I think that's the only one I have on my bend. Oh, here's another one. This has a flange on it. Just a flat flange, no grooves, nothing special. Um, they do great. I'm going to get this guy flying next few days. Of course, I, I haven't even ordered the new VTX. Um, i got to talk to them about that, see if I can get a different one. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do here, as you can tell. And, uh, you know, I'm not the fastest. I'm not just going to throw it together. Those days are done and gone. Uh, batteries. Oh, wait till you see this. Now, this is the Strix battery. It is a 1550 mAh, 95C. As you can see right here. Again, battery testing has been done by Mini Quad Test Bench. This was one of the best performing batteries. It's almost the same as the uh, Tattoo R Racing Line battery. Um, Cables might be a little bit shorter. You know, it, it's very similar. I will say, if you compare this, and this is a 75 seat, 1550 mall from Tattoo, which is a good battery. I, I mean, I run this. This, thing's, this thing works great. Good amp draw. I mean, I've hit 42 amps on those old F60s. Um, There is a bit of a size difference. Let's do it this way. There's a little bit of a size difference. Nothing there. But when you look at it, I mean, that's minimal. This is a little bit bigger battery. But 95C, 75C. Um, price is about the same. I mean, again, a dollar or two difference. Uh, I like the shorter cables. These cables, man, this thing has caused me to wreck more times than you could believe. Um, now that one, I was, I was top mounting it, uh, it'd come loose and get down between a prop and frame and I'd lose the motor. Um, stop on me and to the ground I went. 
I can't wait to give these batteries a shot. I got six of them. They're all charged up. We'll see how long they last. I also got this, again, from Strix. Uh, 3200 mAh battery for the headset. Pretty nice. This is the factory Fat Shark battery, an 1800 mAh. Um, what's the difference? Well, this plastic box. I mean, that 1800 mAh probably isn't uh, much bigger than. Uh, I can't get that apart without probably breaking something. Than the the old Fat Shark goggles. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's probably about it. Oh, also from Ready Made RC. Ah, parallel charging board. Now I'm using a Polaron, a Gruppner uh, Polaron AC-DC charger. Good one with the color screen. whoop de doo um, We're gonna see how it works. Should work pretty good. Uh, that's about it for fun stuff now. When I get the new VTX, I will be ready to roll. I, I'm waiting on the VTX. I'm waiting on the uh, receiver, um, maybe in a week or two, we'll have this bad boy up in the air, tuned and ready to roll. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably solder all those wires on to the PDP tonight and then put that back in the box. And tomorrow we'll be back to working on this, getting it tuned, getting it up in the air. Um, I might swap cameras. I, I'm curious. So I've always run these smaller lenses. I want to know what this big guy's going to do. Look at the size difference there. They're both IR. They're both the same camera. One is orange. This one's the newer one. This one's the older one. I want to know what that camera's going to do. Um, don't look at my hokey little mouth there either. For those looking at it. Uh, I really want to see what it'll do. I'm in a hotel room, as you can tell. Not a shabby place. Uh, Mississippi, Columbus. Working a job with Summit Construction. On the base, um, it's going pretty good. Good group of guys.